Hello, I am back with Dixie Plates Christmas 2017 plate. And first, let's take a look here at the images. All of the Christmas goodness. All right, so let's take a closer look. One of the strengths of plates like this is that you can mix and match. There's lots of cool things that you can mix and match. So they're a little bit different stylistically, but I love like these reindeer heads and these reindeer heads. And then you'll notice that this image here also has a reindeer. So even though these are kind of cute, um, you could mix and match all of those kind of different reindeer images, or you could go and mix the cute reindeer with the cute little cocoa mugs and the cute little candy canes. So there's a lot of mix and match potential when you've got images like this. And this would be an easy little decal to make with. You just go in and kind of dot a little bit for the reindeer's face and then dot a little bit for the marshmallows. And then poof, you've got your different colors there. Um, you've got your candy canes. Super easy manicure. Stamp it in white over a red base. Stamp it in red over a white base. Poof, you're done. Always love, I think for mix and match, Manny's always having a nail with like some cool little words on it. I think that's always super cool. Uh, I love that this is negative space so you can get some pretty, um, so you can get some pretty hollows in there working if you want to um, stamp it in silver like over a red hollow or something like that or you can go in um, you could create a decal with that too so like maybe you've got a red hollow and you really want those presents to shine in your red uh, but you want your other things to be other colors you can make that a decal and then stick it over your red hollow a uh, couple of different looks for the quote-unquote ugly Christmas sweaters, but of course I don't think they're ugly. I think they're kind of cool. I love Christmas sweaters, so there you go. And there are tons of knitting images out there you can do that with. I love the kind of stylized 1960s tree, and I personally think like that is super cute with this for a mix and match Manny. I could also I could I would put this up with that because I think that kind of cuteness goes along. It always makes me think of like all of the um, all of the the Christmas specials that are some really old like from back in the day like Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. Uh, so to me, I think that would be a fun kind of campy look to go for that. Snowflakes for any kind of beautiful winter Manny that you want to do. I love the naughty and nice. I think that's so cute. It would be so much fun to put like the naughty on one of your accent nails, like on this hand and nice on the other. I apologize for my manicure. This is just, they're horrible. Please ignore that. And, you know, depending on your mood, flash one or the other. Uh, some champagne here for, um, for whatever you're celebrating. I mean, I think New Year's Eve when I think of that, but it could be on Christmas Eve. It could be just for a holiday party. You want champagne on there, so that would be cool. Um, these make me think of cookies, little Christmas cookies with the kind of decorations on there. Um, but of course, you know, they, they could be just anything. They don't have to be like representative of cookies. Um, this, depending on the dots, I always tell you, in my opinion, like I think this is mistletoe, right? And then these are like little holly leaves. So, but depending on the dots, if you put the dots in white, I think it's mistletoe. If you put the dots in red, you've got um, a holly look. So go for that. I'm in a gem mood right now because I'm also reviewing her Nail Gems 01 plate. But instantly when I look at this, I think about how you could put rhinestones in the center of these. So you could have this like on um, a green background, stamp it in silver or gold, put little rhinestones, and that would be just beautiful. Some holly. Look at this really ornate gingerbread house. It used to be a tradition. I, I used to make a gingerbread house every year and just in the past few years that's just kind of dropped. Gingerbread men of various sizes so you can have a whole gingerbread family. I guess this is Papa and Mama and then maybe like baby although that's a, a real small baby. Collage it. Um, it when you have different sizes to your elements in a collage that can be really add a lot of visual interest. A couple different size bows depending on um, what you want to do with them. We wish you a Merry Christmas. That's beautiful in, um, in that scribble tree. Cute little Santa with his little thick beard. And I love this with the Santa giving um, a, a present to the little girl. That is so adorable. And I would probably, for me, I could see putting like the Santa on this nail and then the little girl on my smaller pinky. And I think that would be really, really cute for a simple little manicure. Or, you know, if you were doing like maybe one of these, a couple of these ones up here on one of the other nails, mixing and matching like that, 
this cute he looks like uh, he just is so much fun with his long pointy beard he reminds me of kind of like a Santa Claus doll I love that and then the Santa Claus beard so if you just want you know a little subtle reminder of Santa Claus little antlers that's so cute so what I love for this is you take your um, your kitty plate or your puppy plate that's got your cats and your dogs and then you stick little antlers on the top of them so like like little Max in the Grinch that stole Christmas and he puts the little sad antlers on top of him I love that and you rest assured that will happen on my nails at some point during the holidays this year. A little Christmas ornament all by itself and then a few um, snowflakes that you can play around and mix and match with the snowflake one up here uh, and then a couple of little stars that you can um, you know if you want to just stamp those little stars someplace. This would make great little background texture little bursts of those different places like let's say you want to stamp this and you want to stamp this in green over maybe white and you do a couple of little bursts of these stars over here um, like here 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 and then stamp this over it and so you give a little bit more uh, dimension to your stamping by adding that underneath something um, or like okay so I like that these have snowflakes on them so you could definitely mix and match them with snowflakes or you could do a collage where you've got little bursts of the stars a couple of little snowflakes on all the other nails and then just one um, little stocking on one nail or you know like maybe you've got the naughty here and the nice here or something like that so play around with that. I personally would probably go like do a whole gingerbread theme like with your gingerbread house and your gingerbread men across your nails. You could do it on a white background and then go in here with your bright colors and decorate that on up and then stamp those in brown. Messy Mansion has a gorgeous brown that would be great for that. It's called Pudding. Um, and then of course these, I forgot these little streams. Now these could be like little icicle lights which are my favorite kind of outdoor lights I have to admit. Um, or you could make this into like streams of you know whatever you want to down your nails to match whatever your theme is. So maybe you've got, you maybe you want to do um, Santa on your nails or like this little Santa and her little girl but on the back of other nails instead of dropping them like just down like icicle lights like that maybe you want them to get them like the whole way or most of the whole way to be like stripes in red or green so you've got this kind of different dimension and color underneath your Santa Claus and your little girl there uh, and I think this would be gorgeous as texture under anything I think it's so cute just under anything so layer things mix and match things play around with things and have a blast in terms of size Dixie Plates full nail images are 2.1 centimeters wide this one is about 2.5 centimeters tall and for all of these little goodies down here here's a shot with a ruler to give you a sense for how big those are all right for my stamping test I'm going to use Sally Hansen Insta Dry in Plummet and I'm going to use my clear stamper. Oh my gosh, so cute. So cute. And excellent detail on there. And there are those fine, fine lines on that image. And there you go, great detail. Um, I like to remind you when you're doing fine lines on a clear stamper, be, use a gentle scrape with your um, scraper. And there's that negative space, beautiful. Great transfer. And there's that little girl image, gorgeous solid space. Excellent transfer, so sweet. And did I mention how adorable I think those penguins are? Oh my gosh. I love the penguin skating party scene in A Muppet Christmas Carol, so I adore that. Great detail. Look at that fine, fine detail. Gorgeous. So this is just an excellent stamping plate, excellent quality from Dixie Plates. I will link everything down below, and thank you for watching. Oh, 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 oh,